Hi, Sketching Melon here, wanting to do a brief explanation about why this channel went inactive and the new direction that I hope to take things from here. If we rewind the clock back to mid-2016 when I was last posting videos regularly, Minecraft was my prime game for playing and recording, as well as Stardew Valley, various smaller games and some digital drawing videos. Away from my computer though, in real life, things weren't going so well for me. It's not something I've really talked about before, but since I was a teenager I've suffered from an illness called depression. There is a problem with my brain where sometimes the chemicals get out of balance, causing me to feel very sad and very numb for long periods of time. Some people describe depression as the black dog, a wild, ominously coloured, constant companion, growling and baring his sharp teeth. The black dog was making me feel trapped in its shadow. It had broke free of its leash and I couldn't get it back under control. The black dog was taking up all of my time and energy, so I didn't feel like I could play the games I loved or record anymore. I did turn to some online friends for help during this time though. A small discord group with just a handful of mostly American people around my age with similar interests. Having people around to keep me company all day and all night made a big difference, especially when I was able to talk to them from the comfort of my own home. The core of this discord group was a Dungeons and Dragons campaign. I'd never played Dungeons and Dragons before, but I'd always had an interest in it and after sitting in on a couple of sessions, I asked to join their group. It was through this Dungeons and Dragons group that I met Daymod. After some months of getting to know him as a friend, we decided to take things further and enter a relationship. Being that he is an American and I'm an Australian, it was a very, very long distance relationship. Going against everyone's beliefs and the odds of long distance relationships not working, we kept at it and we were determined to make things work. As 2016 drew to a close, instead of decorating the house for Christmas and unboxing presents, I was busy packing boxes and decluttering, getting ready to move from Western Australia to the Northern Territory. The move was not something I wanted, and something I knew I would not enjoy, moving to a tiny little town in the middle of nowhere. At the same time, I knew it was the best thing I could do for Kara Woofy, aka Indominus Rose, aka Rosie Panda, and the best thing for our future. Unfortunately, the trouble started straight away. The moving company did not pack my computer as they were supposed to, and it was damaged in the move. So while I was able to salvage the hard drive, I had to buy a whole new computer. Of course, there's nowhere I could buy a new computer in this little town so I had to order one online and wait for it to arrive. It took months to get my residence set up with an internet connection, and when it was connected, I found out it was possibly the worst internet connection possible. We are so much in the middle of nowhere that we have no phone lines, no cables. We get mobile reception, sometimes, but most of the time we have no signal when inside of the house. No lines or cables mean that our internet is via a satellite. So information is sent to the satellite, then down to us. And the data is sent back to the satellite and down to Earth again at the receiver. And back onto the network. So the delay in packets is insane. Oh, and when it rains or there's heavy cloud cover, the information just can't come through at all and we lose internet altogether. Keeping up my long distance relationship with Daymod wasn't easy especially with the new restricted internet, my dissolving mental health and having to limit our video calls to each other. But it was well and truly worth it when March 2017 came along and I boarded a plane from Darwin to Sydney first, then the next morning a plane from Sydney to Los Angeles. I rushed through the Los Angeles airport to catch my connecting flight to New York before a red-eye flight from New York landing at Philadelphia airport just after midnight where we met in person for the first time. It was an amazing three weeks spent together in America. I got to see snow for the first time in my life, taste all of the amazing food. Oh, how I loved Aunty Annie's soft cinnamon pretzels. 
mozzarella sticks are so good and Swedish fish have to be my favourite candy. I even got to try Taco Bell and Daymod and I went on our first real date, going to the movies to see Beauty and the Beast. I spent my birthday there with him and his family. But the time drew to an end quickly and I had to leave, flying back to Australia. As much as I would have loved to stay there with him forever, leaving my baby girl Kara Woofy at home with her grandparents for three weeks was too long already and I needed to be home with her. It felt as though my heart was torn into two, one piece in America with my Daymod and the other in Australia with my baby girl. The following two months seemed like an eternity. Daymod and I got straight on to organising everything he needed to come to Australia and at the end of May he boarded the first aeroplane he'd ever been on in his life and made the 24 hour trip to Australia just in time to spend his birthday here with Kara Woofy and I. Although the black dog still liked to break loose from its leash and I still often entered the dark shadows Having Daymod near me to support me made things easier. But I was still too scared to speak to a professional about it and get help. On the 1st of July, while watching a fireworks display from our 6th floor hotel window in Darwin, Daymod dropped down on one knee and proposed to me. Then in October, exactly one year after we started dating, Daymod and I married in a small private ceremony. A few weeks later, I took my final exam to finish my university degree and obtained my Bachelor of Psychological Sciences with a minor in Criminology and Justice. It was around this time when I got Daymod into playing Diablo 3 with me and I decided to start up this YouTube channel again with a Let's Play series of Daymod and I playing Diablo 3 Season 12. I was also moderating on Miragecraft Pixelmon server doing a few videos there and had started recording some builds I was doing as I was planning a series of Minecraft building videos. By the time I'd finished editing and publishing the first of the Diablo 3 Let's Play videos to YouTube, we'd actually recorded 18 episodes all up. I was working my way through editing them when I started getting very ill. I was tired, dizzy and so sick to my stomach that I couldn't get out of bed. I felt dizzy and nauseous just looking at my computer screen. I couldn't edit any more videos, I couldn't play Diablo 3 or Minecraft and I had to step down as staff from Miragecraft. I spent the next three months mostly in bed, very ill, using all of my energy towards the most amazing thing. I was feeling so unwell because I was pregnant. A little baby was growing inside of me, who we nicknamed our hippo. Daymod, Kara Woofy and I were so excited about having a new family member but it was a very long nine months for me. I was sick during a lot of it and unable to be on my computer for most of the time. During this time when I was seeing a lot of doctors, Daymod helped me to work up the courage to speak to them about my depression. I was scared about what the black dog would do to me, to my family, to my baby. I had been struggling unsuccessfully for too long to keep it tamed and the doctors helped me with some ways to keep it leashed. Finally, in July 2018, Daymod and I welcomed Hippo into the world. She is an absolutely perfect little baby girl and Kara Woofy has been a great big sister. We couldn't be happier but my family is keeping me on my toes and keeping me busy. However, now that the crazy first three months have passed since Hippo was born, I've been able to spend a little bit of time at my computer again each week. Kara Woofy has been wanting to start recording videos again and urging me to do the same, so I've decided it is time to dive back into the world of YouTube. However, this channel will be taking a new direction. I have just found a new game that I really want to start playing and I think my first Let's Play series will be based on that. I would still like to do some Minecraft build videos down the track, but I don't have any current plans for Minecraft. As a crafty person in real life, I'm thinking about doing more digital drawing, art and perhaps vid uh, photography editing tutorials. 
As a little heads up, I will be reorganising the videos that are on this channel and possibly removing or archiving most of them to start it fresh with a new format. Oh, also, stay tuned for a new family channel, Cade, that Kara Wolfie, Daymod and I are collaborating together to create. That should be coming out in early 2019 with some very funny family challenge videos. Before I go though, I really would like to ask, please, if you or anyone you know are suffering silently with depression, seek help. There are many support groups out there. Contact them or go visit your GP who can get you in contact with the right people. There are some contact details in the descri description below for organisations that can help you.